Guys, I'm sorry. I know. Enough with the Will Smith memes. They're everywhere. But I really wanted to share this with you. This was a top post on Wall Street Bets. When Kramer recommends a stock you own, keep my stock's name out your freaking mouth. I don't know if it's the weather changing or the narrative changing in the market, but stocks are getting fun again. And this might be the indicator for a top starting to form. Hey, maybe these stocks might turn around tomorrow, but Clever leaves up 46% today. You have MVIS up 32%. Today, Hood, Robinhood up 24%. Looks like they are adding four additional hours to extend trading for clients. Investors are really bullish on that. Yeah, guys, it's just getting really crazy. IGMS up 94%. And the last time the market was really picking up like this uh, with the meme stocks on fire, I just did a video yesterday talking about how KOSS was flying, GME, AMC. I was like, meme stocks are flying. This is definitely meme season. But right before that happened last year, you know, the market kind of started acting up. So uh, this is, uh, it's fun, but just be on the lookout. Don't uh, FOMO into any of these things. My wife sent this to me and she didn't even get the joke. She thought it said my space folio because, you know, Ash is killing us, but it says my SPAC folio. And I'm sure I promise this is my last uh, Will Smith meme. But the reason why I want to show this is because SPACs can smack your portfolio. They're not fun, but with that being said, this will be a very heavily watched news announcement. A lot of investors are looking forward to seeing this. OnlyFans wants to go public, and it looks like they're trying to go public through a spec. So I believe they were talking a Forest Road acquisition, but it got canceled because they weren't interested in uh, porn. But then OnlyFans is trying to change their business model a little bit, but it seems like it's hard to attract investors to this stock. But regardless, a SPAC will agree to take in OnlyFans public eventually. And in this market currently right now with all these meme stocks flying, this could do well, but this is only at the time of this recording. This can all change tomorrow uh, because right now it seems like the war is kind of dying down. That's why now I'm really trying to load up in defense stocks. Be on the lookout, by the way. I'm going to be doing a video very soon on a defense stock, but OnlyFans has held talks with multiple blank check companies or SPACs about a merger to take it public. So I'm still upset that I didn't tell the members about DWAC, Trump SPAC, Truth Social, because that thing flew, I think it was what, 600%? I don't think OnlyFans is gonna do something like that. Trump has a pretty big following. This is a little bit different, but still, I mean, like I said, it's meme season right now. It's like March Madness for memes. And OnlyFans, I think, would run, I think minimum 20%. Maximum, maybe like over 100% in, in a day. So be on the lookout for that. If you're a member, I will. I'm, I was digging all day today trying to find it. Yeah, I was looking at uh, the RAIN group because I know that I believe the RAIN group, R-A-I-N-E, is an investment group that's trying to help them uh, take it public. And uh, maybe they'll go through an IPO. Maybe they won't go through a SPAC. But um, I was looking for SPACs with the RAIN name in it. There was one, it was a uh, marquee. Rain group acquisition, but I think maybe the spec will have the word rain in it. I don't know. I'm just digging and uh, I'll let you guys know if I find something, but that can make our year alone. So that's why I'm looking for it. But I think it's virtually impossible to try to find which spec is going to take OnlyFans public. But the market as of right now is definitely turning around. Kathy Wood's arc triples the return rally of the S&P 500 over the past two weeks. Um, I mean, it's no surprise to a regular watch of this channel. There's a reason why I don't really focus on these uh, S&P 500 type of companies, but my portfolio will pay the price at times. But when you can kind of, when you're just obsessed with the market and, and watching the news every single day, it makes sense trying to get in at certain times versus others. I'm not saying I know how to time the market, but sometimes are better than others. And there's still a lot of fear it's just a little, it's like under the hood. It seems like people are kind of forgetting about it. So still be on the lookout for news that can send stocks lower. Bear market bounces can be aggressive. So just be on the lookout. But this is the best time to reflect on stocks that you have in the back of your mind where investors have completely forgot about them. And then you can get in. Like guys, I'm looking back at all these other stocks that I've talked about. I'm looking at satellite companies after NASA announced some contract. Uh, they released a spending 
I was on the Sheets tweet Twitter, Michael Sheets. He is a CNBC space reporter. And he was showing the breakdown of the $26 billion 2023 budget request from NASA. And I was going through it. I was looking at it. I mean, I was looking at Black Sky. That's a penny stock. It's like, I think a dollar right now. I think they have some news announcements coming out in the summer, potentially. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff on Rocket Lab. Astra. I'm looking at old electric vehicle stocks that people might have forgotten about. I'm looking at just everything that's really been rallying because like I did a video on App Harvest uh, I think a year ago or two years ago and this stock is up 65% in the month and I think there was a food shortage somebody was telling me in my comments. People were leaving me comments about stocks that could benefit from this food shortage that I completely missed. I didn't hear anything about a food shortage but uh, App Harvest ran 65% in a month. Then you have Aqua Bounty. This was the very first stock that I ever talked about. This stock is up 24% in the month. And I'm just trying to revisit all of these that have any type of big news under the surface that no one's talking about. And by the way, when I talk about App Harvest, this is really funny. I'm gonna say something to you guys that might shock you. So when I first talked about App Harvest, I wasn't in the stock. I wasn't recommending it as a stock pick, but then I realized a lot of people were just kind of throwing money at a lot of the stocks that I would mention. And guys, when I first started this channel, there's a YouTuber, his name's Company Man. He just talks about companies. He talks about the stories of companies. That's originally how what I was trying to do with this channel. I was talking about stocks, but it was just like, hey, this is what this company does. A lot of people will Google App Harvest, what do they do, enter. And I thought maybe, hey, I'm talking about the stock, but it'd be cool if the video comes up of like me talking about what App Harvest does, what they're trying to do. And uh, yeah, so guys, that's why I always say this is not investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Put these on your watch list. Be careful because yeah, this thing is up 65% in the last month, 46% in the last three months, down 65% in the last year. So be very careful. Say so guys, I told you around February 19th, February 21st, 2021. That's when all these started coming down, all this speculation. And I do feel like there's a place for specs to do the good specs to do really well because they've been hit. But now a lot of these stocks are up 50% from their lows. So yeah, guys, uh, these bear market bounces, be careful. But yes, if you have free time, please be on the lookout for OnlyFans and see who they might be merging with, which spec. Guys, if we get in before everyone else, I think it could make our year. If you're a member, be on the lookout for any type of news that I find that I find interesting to tell you guys. Right now, it's just every everyone it seems to be chasing stocks and that doesn't really work for me. Even with Clever Leaves, I did briefly talk about it on Thursday, then it ran 143%. Then yesterday it went down like 40%. Today it's back up 46%. I'm scared of any type of offerings being announced. This is just not the way I try to make money. And this euphoria right now is back, but it might be short-lived, but regardless, I'll keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys, peace.